killed off those tanks while he was shooting the Orbital Command. Orbital Command still getting shelled from the side over here, and now some auto turrets dropped by that Raven. The Raven just dropped some turrets, and it uh, looks like he may have actually gotten shot down. Um, checking the units tab for red. Don't see that Raven anymore, so no, it looks like he did lose that, but he did drop some auto turrets in the meantime. His point defense drone's still up, finally goes down to some Vikings. Uh, yeah, the Vikings must have gotten that Raven earlier. This medevac's actually going to live. Interesting. But QXC still floating around with his Vikings. Going to be able to take out this sensor tower, most likely. I don't see any fighting units in the area for TLO. Looking at the minimap, TLO's not actually doing anything to QXC. Uh, a kind of sizable drop here coming, but the medevac, of course, is going to be exploded before it can actually get over there by these many Vikings. Now the Vikings are going to have to do a little dance. TLO did a good job not landing all the Vikings, so he is probably going to be able to take out one, if not both, of these Vikings as they flee. That was an interesting exchange. Uh, TLO actually held it off. He lost a lot of mining time, um, and he actually is way behind on harvesters now. He's down to only 39 compared to QXC's 58, and that swing actually could be the difference toward the end of this game. Uh, TLO is trying to expand now to the high yield. That destructible rock apparently had some work done on it earlier, and now he's going to expand there pretty freely with this command center. All he has to do is pick up and drop right there. I'm not sure if he's going to build an orbital command or a planetary fortress there. Probably an orbital just because it's kind of out of the way. QXC would have to actually walk past this natural just to get over there. So, um, this, this should be lifting off and becoming an orbital any time now, but um, lots of Marines Marauders siege tanks here for QXC is up to 142 supply army against 104 here for TLO. Gotta like that advantage. A Banshee tries to sneak in the back here but gets totally destroyed by these Vikings. There's not even really a lot of workers back here anymore. Uh, QXC is going to break down his own destructible rocks. He's actually distance mining without a, a million SCVs right now uh, because his main is so close to mined out. TLO's patrolling now with lots of Vikings, seven Vikings floating around here looking for something to kill. He might actually be able to drop here and kill off some SCVs if he wants to do that. He does land all of the Vikings and quickly picks them back up as he saw those uh, fighting units there trying to kill off those rocks. Actually, one Viking does get uh, pinched there and picked off. QXC back with another drop. His two Marauder 4 Marine drop he really likes. Apparently he's done it several times throughout this series, so he's going to continue doing it. Picks off a nice Supply Depot right there. He can actually get another Supply Depot and maybe even a third actually Supply blocking TLO. Uh, not a new thing for QXC. He's actually able to do that in Game 2 as well. Uh, he's got Marines just hanging out and all these other expansions on the map as he blasts away. Oh, this is a good Supply Depot to pick off. Dropping him even further into the red now. And uh, he's at 112 over 80 something. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. But uh, he loses that medevac. QXC obviously going to lose all these Marines and Marauders as well. If we check upgrades, we're at 0000, and if I can find a Viking of his, I will assume that it's 00 as well. I haven't even seen an armory dropped by QXC. Looks like, uh, like I said earlier, he's favoring more units compared to more upgrades. He's at 155 against 106. Targeting the harvesters and the supply count of TLO, good way to throttle him, keep him from building up too quickly. He is at 00, 00, and 00 as well. This is the first game I believe he has not built an armory actually aside from that ghost game on Kulas Ravine obviously he did not build an armory because the game didn't last long enough but uh, ooh, all these Vikings showing up now QXC gonna lose a few in that exchange and have to run away he turns back a little bit to try and pick off these ones on the end he might get a couple of Viking kills but I'm not sure if it's worth it to sack all those Marines and these Vikings now TLO is gonna continue to push a little bit no he's just gonna hang out at the Zelnaga Tower hey look at this QXC's back with another drop this time four Marauders no Marines in tow, but he is going to be able to blast this tech lab down if he chooses to do so. Might even get this starport kill. But four Marauders, oh, looks like he's going to invest in some SCV kills. He will actually get all these Marauders out before the medevac goes down. Going to continue blasting some SCVs and actually score a few kills. Aiming for a supply depot yet again. TLO not dropped in the red this time, but pretty close, so he's going to have to continue investing in supply depots there. You can see QXC is building four depots of his own right now to eventually hit that max cap, and uh, TLO actually not building any supply depots, so he's really close to just blocking himself there. But QXC moving across the map now, 167, 168 supply against 128, 129. QXC with a very solid advantage again. Let's look at the income tab just to check up on that. While these Marauders come in here and kill off some SCVs, we see the Harvester count drop drastically for TLO. Just 
dropping and dropping. He's just gunning down these SCVs. He knows these Marines are not going to make it out alive. Might as well kill as many workers as he can. TLO down to 40 harvesters against QXE's 55. It looks like QXE is content with about 55 workers. He never seems to really go above 60. Actually, in the first game, I believe he had 70 something, but uh, since then has been pretty much scaling back in favor of more fighting units. Uh, he's at 178 supply now against 116 for TLO. Doesn't look that good for TLO. He's adding on another starport, more SCVs and Vikings. QXE actually got another drop off. Uh, some more Marines in there and Vikings just land. They actually probably just killed off the medevac and landed, picked off the rest of those Marines. I'm not sure if any more supply depots actually went down on that one, but QXC doing a good job with these drops and the pressure from the bottom, blasting even more SCVs. Going to take on this force head on. It's a very large force of tanks and marauders. He's not going to get too many kills there beyond SCV kills, but now he's starting to press a little bit here uh, on the right side of the map. Continuing just to do drops over and over and over as he gets um, <laughs> medevac out, he fills it and drops. TLO just kind of trying to defend several sides at once. A fusion core coming now. He had all these starports so early in the game and really just built Vikings and more Vikings out of them. Now looks like he is making the move toward battle cruisers, and QXC actually could be in trouble if he does not respond to that quickly enough. Uh, scouting information, of course, very important throughout the game, not just at the beginning, not just at mid game. But uh, end game, if a big tech switch to battle cruisers happens and you're not prepared for it, QXC could be in big trouble. He's got 12 Vikings here, but 10 Vikings and some BCs will probably do just fine against that. And uh, neither player still has an armory, as far as I know, so neither player going to be getting those upgrades either. Um, is that another drop from QXC? Is that drop number 38 coming out? Yeah, more Marauders, more Marines coming to gun down these supply depots. He does not want these battle cruisers to come out. He might even see the fusion core if he gets down there far enough. No, it doesn't look like he's going to be getting far enough before all these Vikings come in, land, and pick off all these Marauders and Marines. He might want to just gun it for another supply depot if that's really his strategy. Uh, he is keeping TLO very low in supply throughout this game. Uh, looks like he was gunning for a few more SCVs there, but 190 supply now for QXC against 113. That is just a staggering difference, especially when you see the harvester count is 61 against 33. QXC uh, with that mini contain at the beginning of the game, moving into just constant harassment from both the bottom and the top. The sensor tower is going to see a lot of movement though, so he's going to move to try and meet these marauders here. Um, what's going on here? Lots and lots of Vikings coming. Uh, it looks like both are pretty close on the Viking count right now. QXC actually has a slight, slight advantage, and since neither player has upgrades, obviously have to give the edge to QXC. Now some Marines here trying to pick off some SCVs that are acting as a repair force for TLO. No drops happening right this moment that I can see. Uh, switch back to production. We'll see a armory is coming for QXC, but two battle cruisers are in production for TLO and about to finish. There they are finished. So now the game has changed. It is all Vikings and BCs. TLO actually taking a little bit of a note out of QXC's book. This game is lingering a little bit too long for his liking, so he is getting some battle cruisers on the field and just hoping that QXC doesn't counter it fast enough. The Viking numbers here for TLO have just been growing and growing while two starports are dedicated to BCs. All the rest are building Vikings constantly. All these marauders here are not going to be able to do anything, obviously, against battle cruisers. They stem up. TLO's ground forces do a good job holding them in place for these battle cruisers to finish off, but now uh, QXC might be a little worried here. Even at 177 food, if he doesn't have the anti air to deal with this 112 food army, he could be in real danger. He's adding on a lot of missile turrets right now. We see um, uh, in the production tab here, we've got a planetary fortress, five turrets, a Thor, some Vikings coming out, Marines. He's switching into total anti-air mode here. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to live long enough to actually see that come into effect. There's only there's seven siege tanks here, not much of a ground force actually. TLO has a a uh, sizable force, I guess, but his air force really is what is going to um, win him this game if he acts quickly enough. But all these turrets, all these Vikings, uh, I'm going to keep the units tab open a bit because we kind of know what they're building. It's battle cruisers and Vikings. So QXC's Viking count is at 18, TLO's at 17 with three battle cruisers. Actually, I'm going to switch back to production to make sure. Yes, ship weapons level 1 are being researched right now, which is great for QXC if he's going to be able to fight this off. Um, TLO still at a huge food disadvantage. 195 food is quite a lot. If QXC tried to roll over him at this point, he might be able to do it. 60 SCVs against only 26. Actually, if he can throttle that economy even more, 
He'll be good to go. TLO performs a little bit of a drop. May have killed one or two SCVs before being forced to back off. QXC um, has, this is basically his entire army right here. Uh, he's only got really turrets defending. Um, Pain user has left the game. Always nice to see that. I mean, I'm not sure why Pain user was in the game, but he decided it was boring and decided to leave. So QXC still just biding his time. Yes, Thor's out now. He's got Vikings. Plus one is going to finish here eventually. So QXC, or TLO rather, actually needs to do something with his battle cruisers while he's got them. Uh, he does have three of them here and quite a lot of Vikings going back to units. We'll see that. He's got 21 Vikings against 24. These Thors here and these Marines actually will really make a difference though. The Viking count is just about even. Actually, if he guns down these battle cruisers really quickly, he'll have just a massive advantage because he doesn't have the ground army here to support. These battle cruisers are going down extremely quickly. Look at this huge fleet of Vikings taking out those battle cruisers. There's only one left here now. Tanks are in a uh, QXC's favor right now. Lots of uh, tanks in a siege position here. These Vikings will be able to take out that last battle cruiser, and TLO knows that his uh, brief window of opportunity has been closed. QXC is at 135 supply against 69 of TLO, so TLO dropping game 4 to QXC. QXC now leads the series 3-1, and we'll move into game 5 to see what TLO can try to do to stay alive in this series.